Do you want 250 more profitable customers every day? Truckers, brokers, and DSD field staffs are in supermarkets, your store, each day. And they need to eat on the run to keep up with their demanding schedules. No one is in a better position to service their food needs than the stores that they're servicing. If supermarkets make it convenient for these field workers to assemble their own food purchases, pay for them, and immediately consume, the stores could capitalize on traffic that they may be currently overlooking. The University of Minnesota Research suggests about 250 service people come to a supermarket every day. Truckers especially have idle time, while the store receiving teams confirm the accuracy of orders. Why not sell to them with a mini shop in the back room? Maybe with a couple of small tables. Make sure prepared foods are available and possibly offer them a discount for being part of the community that makes the store work. They will love the concept because they have trouble finding places to park those trucks and eat anywhere on the road. Supermarkets could offer them healthier choices than truck stops typically serve, and they should also see this as an efficient way to fuel their bodies while filling their roots. At a time when stores angle for every competitive edge, this is a captive audience that they can no longer afford to ignore as potential customers. What can we learn from school lunch? Stay tuned. Monsanto, producing more, conserving more, improving farmers' lives. That's sustainable agriculture. More at producemoreconservemore.com. This year's school meals must meet new federal nutrition standards and require more whole grains, fresh fruits and vegetables, including legumes, dark green and orange vegetables every week, and less sodium and calories. Every school meal now comes with fat-free or 1% milk, and lunch entrees meet strict limits on saturated and trans fats. Cafeterias are serving a wider variety of vegetables, including vitamin and mineral packed choices like broccoli, sweet potatoes, and red pepper strips, as well as more fiber rich beans and legumes. And these healthier meals are being served each day to over 32 million students. How can supermarkets prosper from this? Create areas based on healthy school lunches and breakfasts that are now being served in schools. Make these available to the entire family and those parents who have to pack their kids' lunches. Here are a few examples. Whole grain bread with lean deli turkey, lettuce, and avocado instead of mayo. Whole grain pasta salad with veggies and mozzarella. Kids love colors. Think about orange peppers and sweet potatoes for a nutrient-packed side dish. Fruits, but make sure it's pre-cut so they'll actually eat it because kids love fruit. Apples, oranges, plums, grapes, and watermelon, the list goes on and on. But make sure to merchandise what's in season because that'll be the most affordable, the most nutritious, and the most delicious. The Lentber Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelentberreport.com.